All right, guys, welcome back to another episode at Three Pound Fishing. We're out here during the summer bite. Kind of a uh, late morning start, to be honest with you. A super bluebird day. Check it out. Soup. We're going to see what happens today. I can't wait. So, but we do have a little chop on the water. That's going to give us some protection. Uh, I'm going to say stay back, cast at them, and have a, a ball. Fishing with a 10 footer, sniping braid. We're gonna start off with some plastics and paddle tails and see how that works out for us and go from there. But we definitely probably will be, you know, sharing some of that time with some hair jigs. Cause you know, I love hair jigs. So sit back, relax, get yourself something to drink. Summer, we're talking August fishing right now, guys. See where that water temperature's at. I bet you it's sitting around 87. So let's do this. And we got our first fish in the boat. We got boats all around us. Even early in the morning here at 8.50, but that's a solid fish right there. Solid fish. All right, we're gonna move around the lake a little bit. Three good fish right there, good start to the day. We're just uh, gonna move around a little bit and see if they're in their same locations, that type of thing. Now, when the sun is high like this, um, I'm looking at deeper piles, guys. Deeper piles, deeper piles. We got a lot of boat traffic out here today. I know that's kind of keeping them a little uh, spooky as well, but we do have some ripple that gives us some protection. But anytime the sky is blue like this, blue bird day, I'm definitely going to my piles that are just slightly deeper. Um, and as soon as that, you know, this, this all occurs as that sun starts to go up, those fish start to go down a little bit, uh, especially in this clear water. Now, if your muddy water conditions might be a little different, they might actually gravitate going up and grabbing some of that heat. Uh, again, always, uh, depending upon time of year of course but we're talking the summer so most times what i like to do is go a little deeper so just one of the things i, I think about when i come out here and i know that i've got a bluebird day that i'm going to contend with Boom, baby. Woo, baby. Gosh, that's a good fish. Good fish, guys, right there. Check it out. Check it out. We're gonna keep some, put a little couple, a little baggie together for my wife's family. But uh, appreciate you guys watching today. We're having a great time. Uh, bites definitely gotten better. So if you're interested in guide trips, don't hesitate. Reach out to me, all that good stuff. You'll be introduced to the boat sickness. So you guys that are new to the channel, Sickness is the name of the boat. It's a Bass Cat 2022 and top of the line, all the technology in the world. Crappie brakes, we got cornfield fishing gear, we got the Garmin 8616. Um, just put a brand new transducer LVS 34. Let me give you a better light there. Just put an LVS 34 on there. Um, the other one war uh, broke, I can tell you the story. And uh, it was just random in the middle of a guide trip and all of a sudden going wonky on me. And I'll tell you what, Garmin has incredible customer service. Now I recommend you getting any of those devices through PTG. I think they're fantastic because their customer service is fantastic too. And you couple that with Garmin, psh, you're good. And I'm always a big customer service type of guy. So we got the crappie breaks down and uh, I don't know, we're gonna keep casting at them. I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. Good start to the day. A little jumping around, got her done. Little eater, little eater. All right, guys, I wanted to touch on just one thing. I, I you know, I do a lot of 
work on TikTok, a lot of videos on TikTok, and not work really, it's not work, is it? It's just fun stuff, social media. But I wanted to explain why I would use, you know, the black asteroid, which I think is awesome, uh, versus the comet, which is what I'm using today. I'm using the comet. So there's just some people out there, some anglers out there that really do believe that the fish can see the braid. And I think there might be some truth to that when you have some visibility, you know, some high visibility water. When you've got a water column that you can see maybe more than four feet, five feet, six feet, I think there could be some. And either whether it's not, whether it's true or not, doesn't really matter. As anglers, I think that we have to be very comfortable when we're out there. We have to have confidence in what we're fishing with. Um, and so if I get a really tough bite and I just want to test the waters, I'm going with Asteroid. I can tell you I feel very confident with Asteroid, the black braid. This stuff is invisible. But I can't deny the fact that I love seeing my braid on the top water. So when I can't find my jig really fast on live scope, um, being able to identify the line on top of the water column immediately gets me positioned and where I'm gonna be looking. Where it is, I'm telling you, this stuff is stealthy. You ain't seeing it, but maybe the fish aren't either. So. Oh, baby. Oh, another good eater here. Oh, yeah. Another solid eater, guys. Check that out. Awesome. We're going to let them go. I've decided not going to worry about keeping them today. All right, great. So, deeper water. Also, when you got the finicky bite, don't forget, guys, the bait pop, all that good stuff. I've got them up here always constantly and sun protection wind rider don't leave home without it for sure and hope you guys are enjoying your summer i appreciate you guys watching today um, through these summer months we usually put out about one video a day or, i'm sorry not a day a week one a week then we go to two we'll transition to two once we hit the uh, crappie masters at darbone but for right now we're just doing one a day one a week and uh, also but on TikTok, we have been putting out a ton of content so please go over there. Also look at the Sniping Braid TikTok. It has its own uh, TikTok page now. So when you want to get information about all the new braids and all that stuff, all specific to Sniping Braid, you can go to their TikTok shop. And then of course, uh, Three Pound Fishing's TikTok shop. So, and I do a lot of stuff on there. So check it out guys. And I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys are enjoying your summer. Last couple weeks left. Uh, yeah, kids are going to go back to school and uh, the fishing and the fall bite is incredible. So check out three pound fishing guide service. Take it easy guys.